For your word says, For the Father himself loves you because you have loved me and believed that I came from God. Your word says that you so loved the world that you gave your only son. And God, right now, I'm coming to you on behalf of my brother, my sister, Father. I'm asking right now that you put them in your arms. I'm asking right now, Father, that you put them around people who show them what your love really is, God. For some of the people under the sound of my voice, you have wandered away from God. From some of the people who are under the sound of my voice, that you grew up in church. You grew up going to church every Sunday. You grew up knowing what God is, who God is, but you wandered away because some of the things in your life has hurt you. Some people in your life have attacked you. Some things has happened in your life. You've lost some people. Some people have died. Some horrible things have happened to you. Some horrible things have happened to your family members, and you have gotten so crushed by these things that you have come told yourself and you have convinced yourself that there is no God. You have convinced yourself if there is a God that he doesn't love me. You have convinced yourself that no God who loves me or loves anybody will let this kind of stuff go in. You have convinced yourself that he overlooks you. That You have convinced yourself mm, that he has given up on you. You have convinced yourself that he doesn't want anything to do with you anymore. You convinced yourself that he's just like a kid on the top of an ant here with a little magnifying glass and he is not. He says, I love you so much. God says, I love you with all of my heart. God says, I love you so much. And I try to talk to you daily. I try to sup with you daily. I try to explain why some things happen in your life, but you have pushed me so far away. You have built up so much hate for me in my, in your heart that I can't get to you anymore. The places in your heart where I should be, God says, there is other people. There are other celebrities. There are other family members sitting on my throne in your heart where I I should be so you're always going to look at me in a negative way because you never fully opened yourself back up to me you always had this set thing in your mind towards God and you don't want to move it because you're too afraid to trust God again because of the way God was brought up to you as a child from the way that your parents made God seem growing up from the way that the particular church you went to made God seem he says that is not how I I am. He said, I am a God of correction, but I'm also a God of love and I love you very much. Dear God, we're asking right now in Jesus' name that you open this person's heart, God. I'm asking right now in Jesus' name that every ill intent that was done to them as a child, every ungodly thing that was said to them growing up, everything that was done to them, Father, that has made them distrust people, everything that was said and done to them that has made them hate going to church, everything that was said and done to them, Father, that has made them distrust you, everything that was said and done that they have seen that made them second-guess the church, that made them second-guess your love, Father. Father, we call it null and void right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We're asking right now, God, that you send some people around them to really show them how you are. We ask them right now in Jesus' name that you send some real Christians around them to show them what God is really like. We're asking right now in Jesus' name that you send some people around them who have a balance of love and correction. The people who will correct them when you tell them they need to be corrected will tell them the truth when the truth needs to be told, but they're also doing out of love God we're asking right now their heart is broken their heart is needing of healing God we're asking right now that you pick them up and wrap them in their arms father so they can just cry and cry they don't have anybody around them father who they can lean their head on they don't have any people around them that understands what they're going through father we know you know what they're going through we know that you see them cry that their eyes out every single night we know that you see them father just bawling and asking somebody to take away this hurt or this pain before before they lose their mind. I'm asking right now, God, that your love be so strong, Father. It heals every broken piece of their heart. I'm asking right now, God, that your love cover that come over them so strong, Father. It heals any bit of sadness or any bit of depression the enemy is trying to bring into their life, Father. I'm asking right now that your love be so strong, Father, that it heals every piece of anger they had an ill intention they have towards somebody else. I'm asking right now, God, that your Holy Spirit be so strong that it breaks any 
any ungodly thought they may have about themselves or somebody else. We're asking right now, Father, that your love be so strong, Father. It completely changes their mindset. It completely changes their heart, Father. And it completely changes this at their atmosphere, Father. From tonight on, Father, from today on, God, whenever they're listening to this message, I'm asking so much, God, that they be a totally new person, that they don't recognize themselves in the mirror anymore. After they listen to this message, God, I'm asking that they become so overwhelmed with joy. They become so overwhelmed with your love, Father, that they will be forgetting about the sadness that goes on in the world. I'm asking right now, after they listen to this message, that they will have a newfound confidence. They will have a newfound boldness, knowing that their Father in Heaven loves them. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen.